Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lucy Goosey or Kyle and welcome to another week of the UPL, the Universal Pokemon League, week number 13. Kind of crazy. Uh, we are going up against Coach Nakora. I believe at this moment we are 9-3, I want to say, um, on the season. So 9-3 going into this match. Nakora is around the similar record, I think maybe 10-2. Uh, maybe a little bit more losses than that. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but going into this match, I felt like I was pretty well prepared. And then I saw the Alolan Raichu and I was like, oh my gosh, why did I not prepare for that? Looking at my team, Alolan Raichu just absolutely destroys. You can see five of the things I brought are weak to its stab. And Steelix is my only good switch into it. But Steelix has a terrible spadef. Um, luckily, I resist both of its stabs, or am immune and resist, but it does get coverage to deal with Steelix. So that was one thing I noticed right off the bat was Alolan Raichu is going to be a problem. So I figured it was going to be a lead. Um, I'll go through my team real quick uh, if I can remember all of it. I was a just mixed defense, Tapu Fini, mainly there for the Mana Fee, so more Spadef than anything. Uh, I might have been Rindo Berry. Let me actually go check my set real quick. Alright, I actually wasn't Rindo Berry, I was just regular Tapu Fini with Spadef. Uh, I was leftovers. And, and then for Hariyama, I was AD because I wanted to be able to take hits um, from the Mana Fee and a couple of other things. I could live uh, Hurricane from the Tornadoes if I had to, and a couple of other things uh, that he didn't end up bringing. He also had Charizard X, and so that's why I brought Tapu Fini, was because Charizard X had a big, like, good matchup against my team and Tapu Fini was one of the best switch ins to it um, but as far as Hariyama goes I didn't think he would run Psychic on his mana feet because he needs to run energy ball he needs to run water coverage he needs to run ice coverage and then that only gives him tail glow and so I didn't think that Psychic was going to be something he would run and that means that Hariyama is going to be a good switch into it Hariyama also just with bullet punch can do a lot of work against Mimikyu as well as Sneasel and Tornadus if I have, absolutely have to um, I'm also bringing Dragon Dancing uh, Gyarados, basically my only win condition as far as I can tell in this game. If I can get up a Dragon Dance, then it's going to allow me to really put in work. That means that I have to uh, only get really damage off on Manaphy and Tang Growth. If I can do that, if I can get a Nature's Madness or an Ice Beam off on Tang Growth, uh, putting that thing down to like 30%, um, that could be really nice, or just killing it upright, then Gyarados is going to look really nice in this game. Obviously with Mole Breaker, I don't have to worry about Mimikyu's Disguise, which is really cool. Um, and then with our Steelix, Steelix is mainly just to switch into his threats. Um, it did have the Aqua Berry, I believe, to switch into the Charizard X. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't bring it, so that didn't work out. Uh, I have Scarf Gengar because I usually bring Scarf Gengar this time with Energy Ball to deal with a Tail Glow Mana Fate as well. Really scared of that, that thing just setting up on me. And then Roserade, lastly, um, because Roserade is going to help us set up some spikes in this game. And if I can get spikes up, that's really nice because it's going, going to allow me to put Mana Fee into range of Gyarados as well as Mimikyu into range of Gyarados at plus one. So that's really nice. Uh, well, I need a little bit more damage. I think I need 76% with Mana Fee if I'm plus one with Crunch. Um, if he's uninvested in HP. But anyways, um, yeah, we're gonna go into this battle. I decided to lead with my Steelix because one, it's not, it's like a super common lead. Um, but if Raichu was his lead, then it would have allowed me to pressure the one thing, uh, or the, it would allow me to lead with the one thing that pressures Raichu. And I actually get the lead matchup right, so that's really nice because Solid Snake is now matched up against Raichu. I know I can take anything this thing wants to go for. And I started to think. I had originally clicked Stealth Rocks like right away. I was like, oh yeah, Stealth Rocks, easy play right here. And then I was like, no, I can't do that. And I canceled it. And I started to think about the play because that's one thing I always have a tough time doing is thinking about my plays. And I usually just act with impulse. If this thing is able to get damage off on me with a Focus Blast or with a Grass Knot or one of those moves, then I'm immediately put on the back foot. I do have Sturdy, obviously, so I can live any single hit and if he is like a z focus blast i don't think this is a z move user but if he is a focus blast it you know can put me down to range of being able to kill me on the next turn and then i really struggle against this raichu especially if it's scarf because then gengar can't outspeed it so i went for the earthquake on this play he is going to go for grass knot do 60 percent shows that he's life orb and we're going to go for earthquake and turn one kill the biggest start to my team um so that was really nice um i think it was a decent play 
and it worked out for us. So on this play, he goes out into Tangrowth, expecting a Leech Seed of some sort. I'm just going to go for my Rocks because I know anything that he does, I can live. Uh, we actually do live the Giga Drain on the next turn, and it's going to allow us to get some nice damage off on Sneasel. We don't really need Steelix left in this match. It did its job, and so I'm going to sack it off. Now, I go out into my Gyarados because I know that unless this thing's running low kick, it's not going to be able to do anything to us. And low kick still only does about 40% if he's banded because we got the minus one on him. So I'm going to go for my sub right here. Uh, expecting Tangrowth to come in, I just want to scout out what type of Tangrowth set it is. So I do go for Substitute, and I'm just going to go for Crunch on this next turn. I probably should have just went for Crunch on the first place just so I didn't take all this damage. But he does reveal to be a Rocky Helmet really defensive set. So we're not going to be able to do much damage, and that's going to force us to switch out into our Hariyama. So he is going to go for the knockoff here and knock off our assault vest, which isn't great, but I am going to be able to get off some good damage. So I go for knockoff and I get rid of his rocky helmet, which is really important because it's going to allow Garda still to get chip damage off on this thing. Of course, being regenerator makes it really hard to break down Tangro, and we're just going to have to end up sacking off our Hariyama because I don't really know what to do in this scenario because Tangro is so bulky and I don't really want to go out into Tapu Fini on the Giga Drain. So we're just going to sack off our Tangro and go out into Wazowski. Um... Biden's investment, I can tell obviously he's not going to be Assault Vest because he has the Leech Seed and he does not really seem to have too much special defense. So I'm just going to click the Sludge Wave on this play as he goes out into his AV Tornado Therion. Really good bring on his part. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to two shot that thing and it's going to get regenerator boost as it goes for the knockoff on our Tapu Fini, getting rid of our leftovers, which is unfortunate. But on this play, I am just going to go for the Moonblast and take it down to 22% expecting him to switch out I am going to go for the um actually I think on that play I went for the um nature's madness expecting him to switch out into his uh Tangrowth but then on this play I'm going to click the ice beam uh just to knock him out because it's really important he did get the air slash fudge which is unfortunate uh but I know I need to stay in here on his tail glow if he's possibly tail glow and i'm going to go for the nature's madness putting it into range of our gengar unfortunately he is called mine so now that he's plus two i need a little bit more damage so i'm going to taunt just because he, i don't want him call mining up anymore he's actually going to go for the ice beam on us which i'm not sure why he went for that also i wasn't leftovers i don't think i think that was a guav berry if i go back up and see no i was leftovers that was a different match i was a guav berry um but yeah, you can see he went for Ice Beam, and I know he had a move to hit me, so I wasn't sure why he went for Ice Beam, uh, but I'll explain it in a second why he, he did that. Um, but we do get the Moonblast off, putting it into range of our Gengar now, and now he's going to go for the Surf and kill us. So I believe he went for Ice Beam because he wanted to get put down into range of his Salic Berry. Um, I think at 25% he had a Berry that would activate and increase his speed. Uh, it just wouldn't have mattered anyways because we were uh, the energy ball surf Gengar so we outsped anyways uh, he's gonna go out into a Sneasel and now this is the 50-50 that I didn't really want to have to deal with I really need Gengar to win this game because it's the only thing that allows me to kill um, Tangroth easily because I guess Rosary can do it decently but I really need my Gengar around because it's going to be able to live a Shadow Sneak, put damage off on the Mimikyu, as well as just be an overall good Pokemon in this match. But if he goes per for Pursuit right here and I switch out, my Gengar is dead. If I stay in, then I can, you know, do some work still in this match. Um, if I get the prediction right and he's banded Pursuit. Uh, but if he is scarfed and he's faster than me, then that's a huge problem. So I am going to stay in here, go for the energy ball, and we are going to pick up the kill on the Sneasel. The problem is, this is going to give him a free switch out into his Mimikyu and free setup. And I do not want to give this thing free setup. I don't want it to sword stance. And so I am going to stay in here and break the disguise because it is faster than my Gyarados. I know it's going to be faster than my Gyarados. And I need to break the disguise for Roserade to be able to deal with the Mimikyu. So I, I go for the energy ball, and he is going to actually go for the Shadow Claw and knock me out. If he went for Swords Dance, he still would have been fine. Uh, but he is going to get disabled. So we're going to see right here if he has any coverage for us besides Shadow Ball. And I'm going to click the Giga Drain because I need to click Giga Drain to put myself in the range because he is faster um, so that I can live another hit. So I'm going to click Giga Drain on his switch out into Tangrowth. As you guys can see, it's going to do a ton and put it in the range of Sludge Bomb. So I'm going to go for the Sludge Bomb and he's going to bring his Mimikyu back in. And this should be game for us because it is in range of two Giga Drains. Sludge Bomb's not going to knock it out. So I will 
click Giga Drain right here. If it goes for Shadow Claw, the Giga Drain should put me up into range of the uh, or should put me up out of range of the next Shadow Claw. So it should be GG for us. He's gonna click the Shadow Claw, and you guys are gonna see here. I clicked Sludge Bomb, and this was a complete misclick. I don't know. I I could have sworn I clicked Giga Drain. I don't know what happened on this play because it was just weird. Um, but he's actually gonna win this game because I clicked Sludge Bomb over. Giga Drain, and I just, I don't understand what happened, because I, 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 I clicked the right move, I, I swear, I clicked Giga Drain, and I clicked it on the Tangro switch in, I don't know what happened, uh, but we are going to lose this game 1-0, even though it was a 2-0 in our favor, uh, and we're going to lose again, which sucks, because I think in the last, like, 7 weeks, we've lost 4 games, and that's just not very fun. Um, but as far as Roserade goes in that situation, if I could Giga Drain, uh, the health recovered would put me out of range in the next Shadow Claw, and then barring a crit, uh, we would win that game. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened. I guess I just clicked the wrong button, and uh, we went for Sludge Bomb, obviously not getting the poison, and losing that game. Uh, really close, though, to Nakora, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, we just, you know, didn't end up winning the game, and that's just what happens sometimes. So, it does put us at 10-4 and in the season. Um or not 10 and 4 9 and 4 on the season with two games left to go uh if we can finish 11 4 that's gonna be really nice uh because i've been losing so much recently our team is kind of looking out of play or out of the number one spot we are tied right now with the rough riders and if we don't get the number one spot it's not the biggest deal in the world but i'd like to keep it because we were dominating so early on in the season and now we're kind of falling back as other teams are catching up to us um so yeah i think at this point in the season i'm 9 and 4 Jake is 11 and 2, and Mandy, uh, I can't remember what Mandy's record was. Um, but yeah, we are going to lose this game. Next week, we're going up against Hubi, who I've had a decent track record against. Uh, so you guys can tune into that most likely tomorrow. Uh, but other than that, guys, that's going to do it for this video. So hopefully, you did all enjoy. I'm out for now. Peace.